the binyanim, the templates. Take a look at the menorah. The menorah helps us understand and visualize the idea of the templates. As you can see, the names of the binyanim have the root letters of Pei, Ein, Lamed, Pa'al. This is the root that conveys the meaning of action, which is what a verb is, an action. We have three passive templates, three active ones, and a reflexive one. We will talk about each and every one of these templates, binyanim, in a separate lecture. Each binyan has a certain pattern of conjugation, and verbs in the same binyan are conjugated similarly. When a shoresh follows that pattern, its action will change, but its basic meaning will be retained. You will see an example shortly. The seven binyanim each have four tenses, past, present, future, and imperative. And of course, all of the pronouns. So, one shoresh can be used to describe a lot of the characteristics of the action. Sometimes a single shoresh can be conjugated into 36 different verbs in one binyan, in one template. That means, for example, that one shoresh can be used in future, past, present, imperative, singular, plural, masculine, and feminine form, and give us 36 different conjugations. But usually it's less. Here are the binyanim. Pa'al, simple action, active voice. Pi'el, intensive action, active voice. Hif'il, causative action, active voice. Hitpa'el, reflexive, cooperative action. Huf'al, Causal action, passive voice. Pu'al, intensive action, passive voice. Nif'al, simple action, passive voice. The pa'al is the basic and most of the verbs in Hebrew are found in this binyan. But don't be alarmed. It must be noted that most shoashim don't use all of the available binyanim. A lot of the shoashim roots can only fit into two or three binyanim and have no meaning if put in other binyanim. To conclude, here's a quick reminder and summary. You can see the tree here. The root, which is the trunk of the tree in this picture, the shoresh. The shoresh gives us the branches. You can see the seven branches, which are the templates, the binyanim. Nif'al, pu'al, huf'al, hitpa'el, hif'il, pi'el, and pa'al. The root gives us the templates. But once again, not every shoresh can be fit into all of the templates. If you would like to learn more about Hebrew grammar and how to recognize all the different forms of each verb, join our full online course, Hebrew Grammar Verbs Master Course on Udemy. Link in the description. Good luck!